whenever we ask a question from a language model, it goes into its data set and find the similar answers. After finding the similar answers, it assigns a score to each answer or to each token. For example, on your screen, you can see that we have asked the question, which carrier is hot these days from our model? Model went into its data set, found out these four similar answers or tokens and assigned a score to each answer. For example, it has assigned a score of 10% to cloud and 2% to cyber and so on. Now, how does a model decide which of these tokens to return to the user? The process of deciding this output token is called as decoding. There are three types of this decoding. One is called as greedy decoding. The second one is top underscore K and the third one is top underscore P. Greedy decoding simply means that the model returns the topmost or the token with the highest score to the end user. So in our case, the model is going to return cloud. Top underscore K means that instead of returning the top one, it narrows it down to the number given to this top K and then randomly selects a token out of those. For example, in our case, we have assigned top underscore K is equal to three. So it will just, it will ignore the last one cyber. It will just select the top three cloud AI and data engineering and then randomly we will return any of them to the end user. Now we have a third option where instead of giving this top uh, or this is called as a short list. Instead of giving the short list a number like three, we will dynamically size this short list. This method is called as top underscore P and P stands for pro probability. So the way we do it, we just give it as a percentage. So top in our example, we have given a top underscore P is equal to 15%. So what model will do, it will go into the short list or output token size, uh, output tokens. And then from there, it will calculate uh, or add up the tokens which won't exceed 15%. In our example, if it returns cloud and AI, that uh, if you combine those, it will be 18%. The model is not going to select this. It will select cloud and data engineering because 10 plus 3, 15%. So, and then out of these two tokens, model is going to return randomly one of them. So normally we set this top underscore P to a higher value to also search from the tail end of the output results. So this is the main difference between these three decoding techniques just to summarize greedy de decoding always returns the topmost the top underscore k just returns um, the top one or any random value from a short listed uh, output token queue for example in our case we have given it three so it, it will return any of the token from the three and then for the top p we dynamically set the shortlist size so this is it guys. I hope that you liked it. If you have any feedback or any further question, please feel free to ask. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing. Thank you very much.